I'm on my way to Handle, one of the remotest places in Ladakh. It's located in the Changtang Plateau and is 260 kilometers from Leh by road. Since Handle is a protected area, you will also need an inner line permit to enter it. Due to its high altitude, the land in Changtang is not favorable for farming. However, it provides something else that's very important for the economy of Ladakh. It provides vast tracts of pasture land for sheep and goats, especially the prized Pashmina goats. A major worry for Ladakhis is that this pasture land is shrinking due to climate change. It was one of the reasons for the protests we saw in Leh early this year. That building is the Handley Monastery. The Handley is a small village. There are plenty of clean and comfortable homestays, offering accommodation and home cooked meals. One of the reasons many people visit Hanle is to experience its incredible night sky, which is ideal for stargazing and astronomical research. During the summer months, you can even see the Milky Way, especially on nights with no moon. It's the reason why Hanle has been designated as a dark sky reserve by the International Dark Sky Association. Unfortunately, the sky was quite cloudy when I was there. To take advantage of this dark sky for astronomical research, an Indian astronomical observatory was set up in Hanle in 2001. It includes a bunch of telescopes located at an altitude of 4,500 meters at the top of Mount Saraswati. The main telescope which is installed inside this capsule is called the Himalayan Chandra Telescope. It's an optical infrared telescope named after Indian physicist and Nobel laureate Subramanian Chandrasekhar. This telescope can be controlled to face any spot in the sky remotely via a satellite link by astronomers at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics in Bengaluru. Himalayan Chandra telescope's primary mirror has a diameter of 2 meters. It's used to observe objects such as comets in our solar systems as well as distant objects such as supernovae, gamma ray bursts and quasars. The study of supernovas can provide valuable insights into the properties of stars and what determines their lives and deaths. The second capsule that you see here houses another telescope known as the Growth India Telescope. It's a 70 centimeter telescope made by the Indian Institute of Astrophysics and IIT Mumbai. 
It's used to track cosmic events that occur over a period of time, such as afterglows of a gamma ray burst or tracking the path of asteroids. The third telescope at Hanley is called the MACE telescope and is run by Bhabha Atomic Research Center. This is the MACE telescope dish. It has a diameter of 21 meters. It's the second largest of its kind in the world and the only one at such a high altitude. This telescope is used by researchers to study high energy gamma radiation in the universe in order to determine their source. Though gamma rays were discovered more than 100 years ago, how and where they originate still remains a mystery. Look how green the whole valley is. Life in Hanley is quiet. The tourism has become the primary source of income. Some locals are also into livestock rearing and farming. The village has a primary school and you can see several children playing football and volleyball. You can reach Hanley by renting a cab or taxi from Leh, but it can be quite expensive. A more budget-friendly option is to take the bus that operates from Leh and Hanley every Saturday. It departs from Leh at 7am and reaches Hanley by 3pm. You can return on the same bus the next day. 